Good evening. Thanks for joining us. Mi Jung is off tonight. A Vancouver doctor has died while on a mission to fulfill his dream of climbing Mount Everest. The medical community is in mourning over the sudden loss. CTV's Angela Jung now with the doctor's dreams and legacy. Ever since Dr. Peter Swart was nine, he had dreamed of this, scaling Mount Everest. Peter wanted this more than we all necessarily understood and, and he was very keen on making this happen. His friends say he had been training for years. On Thursday, Swart was just 16 hours away from the world's highest peak when he suddenly had respiratory issues. He died soon after. We all are devastated by the uh, event that has uh, transpired. Um, uh, he knew, he was well aware of the risks. He never did anything in a haphazard fashion. He died in Camp 4, also known as the death zone. Experts say climbing at such high altitude can be dangerous. Cardiovascular system, the muscles, uh, you know, the brain doesn't get enough oxygen, so you get confused. Uh, you get incredibly just, uh, just tired. Swart was an anesthesiologist with Vancouver General and UBC Hospital for the last 19 years. He was also an associate professor at UBC. The leader in establishing perioperative care is part of anesthesiology care and as an educator. I've seen comments from uh, past students of his how uh, he would always make a bad day into something positive. And that was basically a reflection of who Peter was. In a statement, Vancouver Coastal Health writes, he was an exceptional anesthesiologist and perioperative physician and had a remarkable ability to connect with patients, trainees and staff while performing countless procedures over the years. He was a true leader in his profession, inspiring everyone who worked alongside him. Swart is being remembered for his infectious humor and for the impact he's made in the community. His friends believe if the weather conditions were different, he would have survived. He absolutely would have uh, achieved that goal and would have come out alive back to his family and, and friends. Angela Jung, CTV News, Vancouver.